This guitar was destined for Jeff Beck, but he felt that it wasn't a guitar he would use very often, so he very kindly allowed me to, uh, to uh, pinch it off of him, which is very good of him. And uh, it's the ultimate guitar for me because it's a perfect blend of old and new. It's a brand new guitar. It was built in 2008 by Stephen Stern at the custom shop there for Gretsch. And, um, but it's built exactly how they were built back in the 50s, in the mid 50s. So it's a very light guitar. It's got a beautiful neck on it. And uh, the attention to detail is, is uh, staggering. And it just has that beautiful sound that you just want from a, a, a guitar that looks like this. It's, it's, a, it's a big sound uh, for a little guitar. It's got, uh, as I say, the neck is very, very, very dainty, very dainty neck, but uh, beautiful for, for, for what I need it to do. Uh, and of course it looks the part as well. So, you know, if you can't fight, wear a big hat. I'm a big believer in that, so. <laughs> My influence, always goes back to Eddie Cochran. He's the first guitar player that um, uh, really moved me and, and hearing his music for the first time had a profound effect on me and he played one of these guitars so I always wanted one exactly the same as Eddie Cochran's. He put the uh, P90 on, on his guitar so it's something that I've always copied really. Uh, of course, it does give the guitar more scope. It's a fatter sound, so it's nicer for playing sort of jazz and for chords stuff. Not that I play jazz, because I can't play jazz at all, but it's nice to have that sound if you so wish. The Bigsby is a fixed arm Bigsby. Now, Eddie's was fixed arm, so it doesn't move. It's, it's not a sway away. Uh, it's a stationary arm. Um, I like to have it sitting quite close to the the scratch plate because it, it feels that that's where it needs to be for when you're playing so that uh, it's it's, a, it's actually a, a good idea to have it fixed there really for for my way of thinking because it's it's always within reach <laughs> So it's quite low. Uh, you just have to sort of hope, hopefully find an old uh, spring or maybe take the one that's there and clamp it overnight, as Neville said, or uh, cut it in half. And then uh, it will be a little bit close to the scratch plate, which feels the natural place for it. The pickups are Seymour Duncan uh, pickups uh, made to sound like the, the original uh, Dynasonic and P90. They're uh, lovely pickups, so that they they came. Well, the the Diamonds came with the with the guitar. Um, so yeah, very light guitar. So you can get feedback problems with them, but again, you know that that can sometimes help in a song if you want to go up to the amp and start doing all that sort of thing. I prefer Dinosaurs to Filtrons because I like the brittleness of them. They have a tone which is which you can't get with a Filtron, but. That's not. I'm not putting Fitzroy's down. I think they're fantastic pickups in their own in their own right, and they're they're very even pickups, which is a great thing for for players of a of, of specific genres because the, it's kind of an equal sound throughout the strings on a Fitzroy. The Armands are a different animal. You, they're kind of top heavy, so you, you get more, much more bite out of them. Uh, I I just prefer the sound because I'm singing and playing guitar at the same time usually, so. I, you know, naturally you want the, the solos to ring out a little bit more. And you can kind of do that naturally. You don't need a volume pedal. I find I don't need a, a volume pedal on stage. I've got, I'm, I'm singing up here, then in the solos, it just naturally jumps out at you. So that's kind of a nice feature really. And it's naturally built into the pickups, which is quite good of them really. So uh, yeah, big fan of, of uh, Diamonds, of Dinosonics. I just like the brittleness of them. They, they, they have a texture, a, a, a tone, which uh, depending on what sort of amp you've got, you can just sort of plug a guitar like this in with no pedals and, and you get the sound and very little messing around. So I, I appreciate that about, about these guitars and these pickups. Well, it, this is kind of like the more aggressive sound for if you're playing a kind of a Chuck Berry type rock and roll song. <laughs>
So that would be a typical solo that I would throw in on a rockabilly song. For something a little bit more kind of going down the Gene Vincent, uh, Cliff Gallup kind of uh, way of playing, which is a little bit more intricate, a little bit more sort of single string type stuff, uh, I would have it in the middle position for picking up both the pickups. <laughs> something a little bit that, that required chords, put it in the in the P90. Bigger sound, much chunkier. Kind of like a Gibson-y sort of sound really, isn't it? Be good for blues. Well, I can play blues because I can't. 